Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the power settings on your starships in Kobayashi Maru. Now, as you're aware, if you go on the engineering tab, you have weapons, engines, sensors, and shields. But well, there is also an advanced power settings tab that you can go on, and I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Okay, so if you hit F5, or well, actually no, press it, don't hit it because you might break the keyboard. It brings up the power settings, as you can see here. So if we go to red alert, we've got those at 100%. So as you know, you can tweak these slightly. But if you go onto advanced power control, you can actually modify each system. So in terms of shields, you can actually put them to 200%, like that, if you just drag them all across. And you can even tweak them the different areas so your front shield you could make your front shield stronger and your rear shield stronger the only thing i will say is by doing that as you can see it's maxed out our power but look at that our shields are now at 200 percent how cool is that now one option that i always put on in almost any battle that i do is the repair subsystem so that is how fast systems will repair that are damaged and it, obviously the default setting is 100%, but you can actually put it to 200%. So your ship systems will repair twice as quick. You can even modify the phaser settings for each array. So you can actually put them to 200%. Now, as you can see, setting them to 200% will obviously make them more powerful. Look at the damage we're doing to that Akira, but it damages the arrays. So, I would only recommend doing that if things get desperate, basically. It's not something I would normally do, but say you're fighting a ship where you're not having much effect against their shields, try putting them up to 200%. Of course, it's hard to do that during a battle, but if you're desperate, it's always there. Now, another one you can modify is the torpedoes. And all that will do is it will just make them reload faster, so it won't increase the power of the torpedoes. But as before, if you do that, it will actually damage the torpedoes. Now, I did that in a battle once, and I completely forgot that I'd set the torpedoes to 200%. And before I knew it, I'd actually destroyed my torpedo launchers. So you have to be really careful with that one. Now, there are these presets down here, which you can set up yourself. But I've got to be honest with you, you probably won't have time in most battles to do that. And I've never really fully use those either. I think you're best just configuring it how you want it whilst you're in the battle, you know what I mean? Another very useful system on the engineering tab is emergency repair. So as you can see here, my impulse drive has taken some pretty bad damage and it's actually disabled right now. Normally, it would take quite a while for that to repair, which during a battle is not ideal. But on emergency repair, if you select, where is it, engines, it will repair it in a matter of seconds because what they do is they stop repairing everything else and they divert everything to that, including power from what I remember. I don't really have any maneuverability right now, but as you can see, it's just repaired it really quickly. That's right, what it does is if you're repairing one of the impulse drives, it takes the other one offline as well. So for example, if you're doing an emergency repair of phasers, it will take all of the phaser arrays offline. Now, if you're in a bit of a jam and your ship is in a really bad way and you need to get out of the battle, what you can do is hit F1, go to in-system warp to get away from the enemy. Now they will try pursuing you, but what you can do in the engineering tab again, if we press F5, so I'll just come out of warp, we have a silent running mode. Now if we enable silent running, engineering teams report main power gets switched offline, the lights go off, and at least the computer ships won't be able to see you anymore. So they'll stop chasing you. That will give you valuable time to make repairs to your ship, and then you can get straight back into the battle. Now it's not perfect for silent running. It only works, in fact it tells you there, it only works for a certain amount of time, but it is a useful tool. One more thing you might not have seen is the transporter option. Now that is used for allied ships. So if you're in a big fleet battle and you fancy changing ships, you can just click transport. 
And in a few seconds. There we go. We do the transport noise. And just like magic, we're on the bridge of the other ship. So now we can control that one. It is actually quite cool to do that sometimes if you want to switch between ships. Say your ship's very badly damaged, you can just take over another one. And if you really want to, you can open the plasma vents. I don't really know what the reasoning behind this is because, well, an enemy, for example, could shoot them. Right, so let's do this. Yeah, so we've just ignited it. So that's just going to come back and hurt us now. I really don't know what the purpose of that is. If anybody knows, please let me know. Yep, yeah, there we go. I've never actually used the mind control. I don't think it actually works. It was put in as an option, but I've never seen it work. Well, I hope that answers any questions you may have had on the engineering tab and ship's power systems. But if there's anything else you can think of, please comment below and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.